Mechanical Engineering Technology is a program that provides a student with a wide range of abilities um, to go into various industries. Mechanical Engineering Technology is the applied side of mechanical engineering. We stress applications in our course room. We cover theory, but we stress the applications of theory. We do a lot with experiments, a lot in our labs to reinforce what we learn in the classroom. The mechanical engineering department uh, is special because it's very, very hands-on. Other mechanical engineering departments or even other programs will teach you a lot about your subject but not necessarily how to use what you've learned in the real world. A lot of people enjoy uh, the fact that you can actually bring play into your work here. If, if you have a, uh, a dirt bike or a quad that you want to test and do different experiments on or maybe build a part for, a part that's actually designed rather than just uh, shop made, then you can actually make it yourself here. The mechanical engineering department helps you uh, apply your knowledge that they give you. One of the best things about mechanical engineering technology at Ferris is the involvement of our students in projects. MET students have been real involved in, in the uh, human-powered vehicle car. They've got the Formula SAE car started. They do the homecoming float every year. Um, they got the Rube Goldberg project going. They, they got the SAE Baja car going some years ago. But those kind of projects, outside of class, voluntary projects, uh, this is what develops adults, what develops leaders. And I, I think that opportunity is neat, and it's neat that our students get involved. Benefits of being in the organization RSO Rube Goldberg uh, include going down to uh, Purdue to compete in the uh, national level of Rube Goldberg competition. Basically, you get to see how good you really are. And you get to travel. We won the national championship for the Rube Goldberg down at uh, Purdue University where it's held every year. And when we won the national championship, we also set a new world record, uh, Guinness World Record, for the number of steps in a machine. So early December, I'm sitting here at my desk and I get a phone call from a young lady. And she said, would you be interested in setting a new Guinness World Record with your Rube team? And I said, uh, why not? You know, sounds good. I'd like to try something like that. And she said, okay, we'd like you to come to Tokyo, Japan. So we left uh, January 3rd, uh, flew to Tokyo. Uh, we worked uh, basically for two weeks. I took three students with me from the team. The people over there are very gracious, very humble, um, just took care of us, fantastic food. The food was delicious um, and we had a great time. It was a great experience. I don't know of anybody else who's ever been invited like that to all expenses paid to Tokyo to, to build a machine like that. I think it's fantastic for Ferris. It shows what our students can do and the national recognition that we have in some of these programs. The MET program is perfect to me. Uh, I love the teachers. What makes the professors in MET different from other professors to me? Uh, when I talk to other students, they tell me stories about their professors, and I tell them stories about my, my professors, and they can't believe it. Because the MET professors, they're real in touch with the students. Like some of my teachers have my cell phone number personally. They might call or text me, and we can call our teachers 24 hours a day, seven days a week, no matter what time it is. We, of course, don't have to develop a personal relationship with students. It's probably would be easier to walk in, teach your classes, and, and go home. But that's a chance to meet people. It's a chance to make connections. It's neat when you get to hear from your alumni, you know, some years later. Some of them just touch base once in a while. You know, we've been invited to a few weddings, um, things like that that are fun. Um, it's, it, the involvement uh, helps break down communication barriers, uh, helps work out problems that show up once in a while, and if students feel they can talk to you and talk to you adult to adult, um, that's what we want. Our students go to all types of industry, um, could be automotive, but it could be food um, industry. We've got people at, uh, like Hormel Foods, uh, um, Procter & Gamble has contacted us about our students, but. We've got them working in military contractors, uh, furniture manufacturers, uh, auto suppliers. 
There's some that go into appliances, they go into construction, they go into HVAC, um, they go into manufacturing, they go into testing. With, with the MET degree, students can do a wide variety of things. You can work um, from anywhere from the Fortune 500 companies, the big three, the car industry, uh, to working for a vacuum company, making parts, small parts, anything. We're going on a field trip to two plants, just to see how, you know, how things work in the plant, something that we can be doing when we graduate. And this will be my second field trip in the MET program. When I tell other students that we go on field trips, they kind of laugh because, you know, I guess they don't do it, but the field trips really help us to, to see what we're going to do in the future. So many times they think, oh, Ferris, it's that little school up there in Big Rapids. But I'll put my students up against anybody. I'll put them up against Purdue. Uh, when we've gone to that group competition, I've beaten Penn State. I've beaten Texas, Texas A&M, Michigan, Michigan State, uh, Purdue, um, University of Toledo, University of Arizona. We've beaten those. Our students are great. They're good. And they can go out there and compete with students from the big colleges. Um, and they're starting to realize that now. They're realizing that uh, Ferris puts out a very good student up here and uh, something we can be proud of.